Hi, how's it going? Welcome to episode number eight of Becoming a Better Legal Writer. Previously in six, I talked about the need to plan or brainstorm what you believe to be the main issues in this case. In seven, I talked about how you need to learn the facts, both the ones that help you and the ones that hurt you. And now what you need to do is you need to review the law itself, whether it be case law, uh, statutory law, you know, whatever. You need to learn that stuff too. What I like to do, and this is just personal preference, is I like to start off with Google. I'll go to Google, do a search for, um, I don't know, uh, was, uh, imagine we're doing something on attorney-client privilege. I'll go and I'll do a Google search for attorney-client privilege, Michigan opinion. Because I want the, I want to, what I'm doing is I, I want a case, recent case, which Google is usually pretty good about giving you recent cases, that deal with attorney-client privilege. What I'll do then is I'll review that case, see what they have to say. Those court cases are great because they'll tell you they obviously build upon previous precedent. They might cite Jones v. Smith, you know, 123 Mishap 456. What I'll do then is I'll use other free legal research tools. Through Michigan, I get a free access to Casemaker. I really like it through the Michigan Bar. I'll go on there, I'll review these cases on, on Casemaker uh, to see in further detail what they have to say. I'll maybe select on a case here, select on a case there, just to read the little sub points that these cases talk about. Really what I'm doing is when I'm researching, I'm falling down the legal rabbit hole. You got to let yourself do that. Fall down that rabbit hole, take notes on these different cases. And... Uh, the cases, not only the cases that help you, but also on, again on the cases that hurt you. Again, this is a this is a fight over information. You want to have more information than your opponent. You want to know more about the facts, and you want to know more about the law than the opponent does. By doing that, you can set up new strategies, set up tactics to be able to maximize your strengths and minimize minimize your weaknesses, and conversely, attack their weaknesses and try to minimize their strengths. That's why you need to look at both sides of the coin here, right? So again, a personal preference, I like to start off with Google, then go to Casemaker, and then if I'm really having a problem, I'll go down to my local courthouse. They have access to LexisNexis, I believe, and it's free in the law library. You know, maybe you have a subscription to Westlaw and you prefer to use that. It, it makes no difference, personal preference. But in any event, you need to review the, the law itself. See how those facts... Uh, impact the law and vice versa and change the you change your plan according to the both of those so it's really like a big pot you string all these things together and they all have an impact on one another again to re-emphasize you want to fall down the, the legal rabbit hole and go into research now you don't want to spend three weeks researching but you gotta let yourself go down there a little bit and find those cases that help you find those cases that hurt you write them down Copy them on a legal pad, print them out, stick them to your Evernote, whatever. But that's the stuff that you need to do at this phase. So with that being said, please go down below. Please click the subscribe box. It should be red. I believe it's red. And that, what that'll do is it'll, get you, it'll give you all my videos directly to your YouTube inbox. You don't have to pay a dime for any of them. They're all free. Uh, also, if you're watching this, maybe a year after the video is out, all you need to do is go up above. There's a little thing that says playlist. You'll have, you know, go ahead, click that. It'll have a playlist of all my legal writing videos. You can go ahead and watch any of those at, at your leisure. And other than that, please give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. Give it a thumb down, thumbs down if it, if it didn't help you. Leave a comment asking any questions. Maybe you have a better way of doing your legal research. Tell me. I'd be more than happy to hear it. You know, whatever helps me become a better legal writer too. And vice versa. If you have other questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.